Macby police chief woke me up by phone at uh, about 7.30 and told me that somebody had left a, a, me a note to try to start a little investigation, try to figure out who my biggest fan was. A battle brewing between a small town newspaper reporter and a town councilman. I've kind of blasted him on Facebook for his, his reporting because he's wrote articles that it just, I don't understand it. It's just, it's so biased. A battle that ended with a 70 year old man spending the night in jail. Do you think that that had anything to do with uh, you know, the town coming after you and putting you in jail? It may have, it was a joke. Harmless, harmless prank. Nothing got hurt, nothing got broken. I'll do it six tonight. A Chesterfield County newspaper reporter is facing a fine and jail time after a town hall camera caught him taping a note to that front door. Instead of ticketing the 70 year old man, the town's police force decided to arrest Robert Monty. But there may be more to this story. As Queen City News Chief Investigator Jody Barron covered in the small Chesterfield County town of Macbee, South Carolina. Jody Barr. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I just want to know. I hate to. I, I just want to do this while when you were being set free. But what in the world happened? Okay. That would have landed you, you in jail what? for the last 24 hours. This is where we found Robert Monty Tuesday afternoon. Yes, sir. Seconds after Chesterfield County jailers set him free. Bye, bye, Robbie. The day before, Macby police found this sign on the ground outside the front door of town hall. They went straight to the video cameras and found out how it got there. So, so maybe it was a silly thing to do, but Sunday morning on the way to work, I put a sign up that said, uh, I just put it on the tape, didn't break the window saying, bye bye, Robbie, referring to Robbie Lyles. What did you mean by that? That, that uh, well, just, just bye bye, Lyle. Robbie Lyles. Was that a threat to him? No. no. I said bye bye, just like that. But Monty admitted there was a little more to it than that. Monty writes for The Link, a community newspaper. Along with an opinion column, he also covers MacBee's elected officials. His latest work, highlighting decisions related to a tech school moving into a donated building in town, and the town posting these markers on state street signs. Uh, I'm just pointing out that there might be a lot of work to do before they can. Uh, use that facility because it's all dirt pretty much. So it's just making people aware of stuff. I'm very overt about that. How does your making the public aware of things in City Hall correlate with you being arrested on, for taping a piece of paper to the front of it? Somebody else have to ask, answer that question. Some could look at that and say that looked threatening. It's not threatening. It was a magic marker in about an inch and a half, two inch letters. Did you perceive that note as a threat? Well, not physically. Magby Town Councilman Robbie Lyles is the Robbie here. Lyles was sworn into office in February and says he immediately noticed problems in Robert Monty's reporting. As you know, you're dealing with the press. They can they can write say anything about you, and and you know, it, especially he's done shown that he don't care what we have to say here, and you know he could write anything to kill out your character, and and I mean he's. He's literally got the, the eyes and ears of thousands of people here in Chesterfield County. And Lyle says the first report, which he described as negative, was published just days after Lyle's and the new mayor took office in February. Of Lyle says it happened again just last week when Monty reported on potential problems with a new technical college. I've kind of blasted him on Facebook, you know, for his, his reporting because I've never, he's wrote articles that I don't understand it. It's just, it's so biased. He, 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 in these articles, he never, he never says mayor said this, council said this, no comment from them or whatever. We, we never offered a comment to give our side of it. any story. He just, he prints the story. So you think that that note came as retaliation for your Facebook posts? Yeah, well, yeah, that and just me being honest with the people here in Mackby, the, you know, we're just not getting a fair shake out of our local reporter. So I've, I've been kind of rough on him on Facebook, and I guess, you know, he thought about it all night, one night, maybe a Saturday night, and at 5.55 a.m. on a Sunday morning, he's seen on video coming up to post his note on the window here at Town Hall. It didn't take Macbee police long to figure this out. 
MACB Police Chief Mike Irvin called the solicitor's office to figure out the law on vandalism and how to charge Robert Monty. They settled on this code, the state's graffiti vandalism ban, which makes it a crime to write, draw, mark, paint, etch, scratch, or otherwise place something on public property. MACB PD's Lieutenant Tim Knight went to town Judge Gary Falkenberry and got an arrest warrant for money. On Monday afternoon, MACB police swarmed Monty's home and arrested him. Councilman Robbie Lyles was across the street at the time and watched the arrest. Does that sound like something someone should be arrested for or maybe a ticket or what? Not for me to say. <laughs> not for me to say. All I know it was not vandalism. Monty's arrest is also the first for the town's newly reconstituted police force. Yeah, I think a lot of people are going to have trouble equating someone sticking a piece of paper to the front of a public building and then being arrested for that. The first act of the Mappy Police Department, I'm told, was your arrest. Huh. What do you think of that? Huh. Do you think Robert Monty may view this as his arrest as retaliation for his reporting on the flip side? No, no, I wouldn't think so. I think that uh, the police chief done the right thing. He contacted the solicitor's office. He found out what the statutes and the recommendations and the charges that should be carried out forward and went from there. I, I certainly had no input or, you know, uh, it was all legal and, and done in the proper way. I, I have no problem with it. So his arrest wasn't retaliation for his reporting? No, none whatsoever. His arrest was retaliation for his actions at 5.55 a.m. on a Sunday morning when he felt like he needed to come right by by Robbie on the, and post it on the town hall door. The councilman says the town plans to prosecute Robert Monty to the fullest. Oh yeah, most, most certainly. Uh, I'm sure uh, when the judge granted his bond, he, uh, you know, he was, he was given a court date and he was, He'll answer for his charges at that court date. Well, the penalty for graffiti vandalism in South Carolina is a $1,000 fine or 30 days in jail. Monty's court date is set for next month. If convicted, the court could also force Monty to remove the graffiti, have to pay for it to be removed, or pay restitution. But that likely will not happen since the sign Monty says he taped to the window didn't even stick.